Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, you know, I come back with that second video just to make you think. And basically, we have the Panthers. Carolina Panthers are going to be testing a UV light that is basically a killing robot for the C word. That's right. A killing robot for the C word. So guys, they're going to be the first NFL team to actually test this. Now guys, just like I stated, the C word is going to move in the digital age. So the C word is allowing them to do what? Create the crisis where they can do things that they thought they'd never be able to do. They'll be able to get away with it. And we see they getting away with murder. And that's literally. Now guys, we know all these people are out of work. No talk of stimulus because Trump, what happens? He basically goes into a hospital. All the attention is on Trump. Now, don't forget, it was three people. It was the staffer. It was Trump. And then, of course, Melania, the first lady. So basically, he stays in office for three days. So that's three and three, which is the power of 33. But guys, we definitely see the digital economy moving. We have the drones. That's all you hear about is drones, drones, drones now. Now, basically, you'll start hearing about the robots, the automation. Of course, algorithms are playing a big piece of our everyday life. Social media, stock market, anything you can imagine, an algorithm is being touched. Now, basically, as far as what the players are concerned, when we're talking about athletes, basically, of course, television is definitely used as a distraction with the C word. They're going to use this. As we see, we see another ban as far as with the C word. So they just want to make sure the visual is there. These masks and all this good stuff in order to put the fear on the people. But when it comes to cryptocurrency, you're going to start seeing more of that rolled out where these contracts are going to be tokenized. Don't forget, guys, the Spencer Dimway that used him as the first guy to talk about it. And the NBA. And then, of course, we had the skater over in Canada. But remember, Spencer Dimwitty took a piece of his contract, tokenized it, so then therefore people could invest in it and make money off of it. And we're going to start seeing more of that. Blockchain, as we know, is all moving fast. Do the masses know? Do the, do the television talk about this? No. We know that blockchain and crypto is moving so fast and the masses have no idea. So guys, get yourself and prepare. That's the reason why I did my stock channel. So therefore, you can start investing, making money. So therefore, you're taking care of your friends and family. The reality is moving forward and moving fast because of the C word. And remember, I've been told you 12 to 24 months. This is going to be the craziest time ever in our life, especially it depends on how old you are. Me. I see it moving quickly because, of course, how old I am, I see the path that they're actually taking. Of course, the younger people, it's going to feel a little slower because, of course, they're already into this technology anyway. It's going to be nothing to them. That's who the technology is for. It's for the millennials. It's for Generation Z. But, of course, as older folks, we see our everyday life changing where sometimes you can't get certain things in the stores. You have to go online if you want to get it. And remember the video that I showed you where you actually will be able to walk into a store and try on that outfit without you trying it on. Virtual reality, guys, is here, is coming. But y'all enjoy the rest of the video. Morris, welcome back. It's good to see you again. Nice to see you. Good morning. Uh, it seems like the world has uh, turned upside down since the first time we spoke about this technology. Uh, just remind the viewers uh, how, what it's centered around. It's essentially, I think it's UV based, right? It, it is. It's a little bit different kind of UV. You can see it right over here. This is the world's most powerful UV robot, as opposed to being based on mercury lamps that are low intensity. This is pulsed xenon, very high intensity, very powerful, broad spectrum the fastest robot really on the face of the earth. All right. And so you've had some experience uh, as the football season has kicked off in stadiums, but what's different about the Panthers partnership and how would you grade the success of it when it's being used at scale so far? 
So clearly this robot is the leader in healthcare. So we're in more than 700 healthcare facilities around the world. The Panthers really took the step to be the first NFL team to adopt it. They were using it in locker rooms, gymnasiums, weight rooms, meeting rooms, and then public facilities, restrooms, to really try to create a safe, the safest environment they could for their patrons who came to the game. As I understand it, there was about 5,500 people at the game yesterday. Really, that's a huge step forward. They're serving as an example for the other NFL teams and, quite frankly, for all professional sports to get the players back playing and to get the fans back watching. Morris, we're seeing what this looks like. It's a little bit like a strobe light. And I understand the focus is really on cleaning surfaces. There's been so much attention recently on the aerosol spread of this. Is there any way to apply this technology to what's in the air and not just what's on surfaces? So, Julia, when, when, when the robot goes, we're trying to disinfect all of the surfaces that people are going to come in contact with. It does rotate air through the robot, hence any air that's being rotated through the machine that will also be disinfected. The best thing that people can do to prevent aerosol transmission of SARS-CoV-2 that causes COVID-19 is to wear their masks, uh, to have social distancing, really follow the CDC guidelines. What we're thinking about is we can disinfect surfaces, kill SARS-CoV-2 in two minutes. Therefore, the Panthers were able to cover somewhere between 5,000 and 7,000 square feet per hour with the robot to get as much utilization across their facility as possible. Yeah, obviously a lot of real estate to cover uh, between the stadium and the facility. Morris, we're a little heavy on news, so we'll cut this short, but we hope you'll come back. Uh, and we're obviously thinking of uh, every team, including the Titans, which had no new positives today for the first time in seven days. Thanks. I just left Walter Reed Medical Center. And it's really something very special. The doctors, the nurses, the first responders. And I learned so much about coronavirus. And one thing that's for certain, don't let it dominate you. Don't be afraid of it. You're going to beat it. We have the best medical equipment. We have the best medicines, all developed recently. And you're going to beat it. I went, I didn't feel so good. And two days ago, I could have left two days ago. Two days ago, I felt great, like better than I have in a long time. I said just recently, better than 20 years ago. Don't let it dominate. Don't let it take over your lives. Don't let that happen. We have the greatest country in the world. We're going back. We're going back to work. We're going to be out front. As your leader, I had to do that. I knew there's danger to it, but I had to do it. I stood out front. I led. Nobody that's a leader would not do what I did. And I know there's a risk, there's a danger, but that's okay. And now I'm better, and maybe I'm immune, I don't know. But don't let it dominate your lives. Get out there, be careful. We have the best medicines in the world, and it all happened very shortly, and they're all getting approved, and the vaccines are coming momentarily. Thank you very much, and Walter Reed, what a group of people. Thank you very much.